Guys, the Inakim OXO electric scooter, unboxed and my first impressions. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Sing for a Lens and thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't stopped by here before, please be sure to click on the subscribe button and click on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So, my God, this is so exciting. So last Christmas I bought the Xiaomi M365 Pro electric scooter and I loved it. And you know what? I kind of still do love it. It's smooth, light, easy to get on with. But, 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 and it's a big but, it just didn't have the grunt. Now, I'm not saying it's not fast, and I'm not saying that, you know, I want to tear around and go crazy and all the rest of it, but I probably do. But it's going up hills. There just isn't enough power to get up the hills. So, you know, maintaining speed, I think I slowed down to like six miles an hour or something crazy. And when the battery's running down, forget it. It's just, just not got the power so yeah i love the m365 pro and yes i'm going to keep it because you know what it's mega portable and quite frankly you know that's worth something um, but i've kind of outgrown it really fast so this the inakim oxo oh my god this thing is in a league of its own i don't really do specs but you know what some quick specs wait 33 kilograms. I mean, compared to the 14 kilograms of the M365 Pro, this is heavy and not very portable. And that's the only negative, really. But in a way, it's not really a negative because that extra weight kind of makes it super stable. And that's pretty good considering this thing does 40 miles an hour. What? Yes, 40 miles an hour. I mean, that's faster than a moped. And all that power is delivered by two, yes, two, that's plural, we fly. I'm out in the garden here and uh, it's a Sunday afternoon, it's quite pleasant. Um, birds are tweeting, sun's going down. Actually, it's been a while since we've had a, a couple of good sunny days in the UK. I mean, it is summer after all, but um, yeah. Anyway, just nice to be out of the studio for a bit. So yeah, where was I? Um, yeah. Plural, two motors, 2,000 watt motors in each wheel. That's amazing. So yeah, 40 miles an hour and a range of 62 miles. That is pretty usable. Okay, it comes with the expense of a 13 and a half hour charge from empty to full, but I think the majority of the time you're not gonna be empty. You're not gonna be charging from empty and I think overnight will suffice. Now to stop all of that lovely speed, you have front and rear hydraulic, yes, no cables here, hydraulic disc brakes. That's pretty cool. And for the icing on the cake, fully adjustable front and rear suspension. So this thing is actually capable of going off road, which is amazing. Why? It's not that like I wanna go off road, it's just that the roads are just rubbish, aren't they? Full of potholes, full of cracks, full of whatever, whatever, whatever. So it just makes it a lot easier. So full suspension, front and rear, adjustable. So you can actually adjust it from like road level to kind of off-road level. And I haven't done any measurements or anything like that. So I don't really know what the stats are for how high the deck goes and how much travel you've got. But I will let you know. So what is for sure to say about this scooter is it is a beast. Now, there are a bunch of other specs, but you know what, I'm gonna leave the full list in the description box so you can kind of take a look at those. Now, this is just the unboxing, as I said, although I have had this for a month or so, and I have been out on it, um, I actually placed a pre-order for this and saved some money. 
but I did have to wait six weeks. Now, I purchased this from ElectraZoom in the UK and the service was spot on, so shout out to them. I'm always dubious about pre-orders, however, the experience was pretty good. I had to kind of laugh though, because when they sent me the link for the tracking, um, it was a link to the container ship that it was on. So yeah, I followed this all the way from Singapore by boat. Cool, I guess. But nonetheless, um, the whole experience was pretty smooth. Now I have heard of some folks that have struggled a little bit um, and that with the delivery and the shipping and stuff like that, but that's been due, I believe, to onward shipping or forward shipping to another foreign country. And I think it was something to do with lithium batteries, but I'm not 100% sure. But for me, it was a smooth experience. Yes, six weeks, hell of a long time, but you know what? Well worth the wait. So, that said, what can I say about this scooter? Well, quite frankly, it meets, if not exceeds, all of my expectations. One thing you will have to do if you want to, and why wouldn't you, is to de-restrict it. It comes a factory restricted to 15 miles an hour. I kind of think that that's some sort of legal limit kind of thing. But it's just a matter of some configuration on the little control panel and you unlock the full capabilities, the full 40 miles an hour of this beast. Um, so guys, leave a, a comment in the comment section if you need to know how to do that. I'd be happy to uh, let you know. Um, so like I said, this is just an unboxing and it's my first impressions and I will be back with a more detailed review. But, spoiler alert, if you've outgrown your first e-scooter you're, or you're making a first time purchase and you want to kind of skip the entry level, just go and buy this. Honestly, you will not be sorry that you did so. So go and buy it, it's fantastic, honestly. So guys, if you have any comments, questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Like I said, I'll be back with a full review on this. This is just my first impressions and the unboxing. Um, yeah, I mean, just go and buy one. It, 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 it's just so good. Honestly, you, I, I can't tell you what a good scooter this is. Um, and you know what, it's not that difficult to ride and you get used to it really, really quickly. But anyway, guys, if you like the video, please click on the like button, click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. Um, I buy all my own gear, so your kind of likes and subscribes mean a lot to me and definitely keep me motivated to create more content. So thanks for watching guys. Um, like I said, I'll be back with a full review, but until then, I'm Dave with Seen Through a Lens. Thanks for watching and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.